The day after going to Sugsaw Hatchery, the BMSE Live team once again had an opportunity to join the Huayat First Nations Salmon Hatchery and Stream Survey team. This time, we headed out to Rousseau Creek, where the survey team was preparing to use a seine net to catch some more broodstock, this time for coho salmon, and assess the salmon population currently returning to this creek. You might recall from our first video about the Huayat First Nations Watershed Renewal Project that broodstock are the fish which provide the eggs and sperm used back at the hatchery. Uh, we're here today to collect broodstock for our Pachina coho. Uh, Russo Creek is a tributary of the Pachina River. We're sort of at the confluence here, and there's a, a small run of coho that head up this area. Today we're going to be catching adult returning coho, and we're going to be taking them to the Sagsaw Creek Hatchery, where we will spawn them and hold the eggs until the spring, and we'll re-release them into the river. Essentially how it's going to go is we're all going to help unload the net from this truck right onto the riverbank there. Katie and I are going to um, really carefully and ninja-like pull the net all along this bank, pretty much from like the truck to where you guys came out of the water there. And then we're going to drop the lead line off the bank and it's going to go to the bottom and then we're going to really slowly and calmly swim it across to people on the other side and then we'll pull the lead lines in. We're hoping to catch that pole whole school today and just keep in mind we're really trying not to disturb or spook or anything the fish um, catching them off guard is the easiest way to kind of non-stressfully catch them once we catch them we'll have those black bags and um, we try and keep males and females separate um, we'll help with identifying males and females uh, it can be a little tricky but mostly what you're looking for is like an extended hooked nose for the males males are usually bigger um, and then for females, you're looking for kind of like a rounded head and nose. And um, sometimes you can tell with their like bellies if, if they're female or male. Um, we'll be putting them in those bags and then we'll be putting them into the tubes and anchoring the tubes in the bottom of the river. Um, one reason we do that is because this is their natal stream and it's been proven through some science and observation that fish that are enhanced that have as much time in their natal stream as they can are healthier and produce healthier eggs and that sort of thing. Um, so we have the awareness that we're like taking these eggs and putting them in the Sexaw Creek water, which is a different temperature and different compensate, but um, so we're doing our best we can with keeping the adults in the river as long as they can. Okay, we got a male. Look at that. That's another male. You can see the hooked nose there. Jack coho. Male and female adult coho salmon were identified, recorded, and sorted into mesh bags, which still allowed river water to flow around the fish. This time, the team managed to collect six female and ten male coho. They'll come back again throughout the fall until they've collected their target number of 15 females and 30 males. All of the fish that weren't kept as broodstock were also identified and recorded, and then released back into the creek. This included other species like chum salmon and trout, which are also salmonids, as well as juvenile coho salmon, which the team refers to as jack coho. Jack coho. The adult male and female coho salmon that were kept as broodstock will stay in these green tubes in the river until they are ready to spawn, which depends on various environmental conditions like temperature, water flow, and changes in weather. Males and females need to be kept separate because if they end up in the same holding tube, they might try and spawn together. The hatchery team checks on them regularly, and when the fish are ready, the team will collect eggs and sperm at the river, transport those gametes back to the hatchery, and mix them to fertilize the eggs before putting them into incubation. <laughs> 